Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Four Pillar Minecraft. That was an amazing, that was just amazing how horrible that opening was, but, okay, so I've been breaking the dirt as we go along, got a little baby pig. So, this episode, I'm planning on heading to the nether. And just starting to build the bridges, because I've been procrastinating that a bit. So I dug up some cobblestone that was born in my chest in order to go there and get it, get everything done. And let me quickly get my bow in hand, just in case if we run into any ghasts or anything. And then... So now, hopefully we don't die. Uh, I dug up, also, the ender portal here for obsidian earlier. And that noise is, that the thing is making definitely isn't terrifying. So, yeah. There is a ender pig. Why did I say ender pig? Zombie pig man. So the dimensions of this are... So yeah, we're missing one over here. This is actually starting to bug me a bit. Like even without being here, it bugs me. So I'm going to fill this in. Just so that I don't feel like screaming at my screen. And yeah. So today, luckily for me, is a PD day. I am i don't even know what that stands for. It basically just means you get a day off school. As far as I'm concerned. And I love days like this because I can just sit at home and play video games. And yes, I did remember to bring food. That'd be kind of a fail if I did forget. And more zombie pigmen. So, one of my goals will probably be to build one of those spawners. You know, for gold and stuff. How much do you use gold, actually? Hmm. I wonder if it's one of the challenges of this. I know it's for Skyblock. Okay, so over the reason why I don't like the nether that much here is because it's so dark. It's not even like there's a bunch of netherrack for you to like break up the darkness of this world. There isn't. Which is really annoying. As far as the whole navigating thing goes. And yeah. And my brightness I is like always on four too. What was... I did... Oh, well. So, yeah. Kind of annoying for me. There we go. Now I won't fall off the edge and die. Let's add in some torches. Uh, as you can probably tell when I was back in my world, I did set up the glowstone, as I said. More of these guys. Yay, I love these guys so much. I can't even t bear to hurt any of them. Like at all. Okay, let's go. I, when I first found out about the nether, I would just constantly go to it. And get glowstone and stuff. Because it was just like a new thing. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Because I had never managed to get there before. But, now it's just a thing that I've been to, and if anything has become a bit of an annoyance to go to when it's this dark. Did I hit something? No. I just accidentally went back. And that comment kind of shows you how difficult it is for me to... Yes, I did hit something. 
so it is quite difficult for me to tell if I've even gotten anywhere. And so that that's a thing. So I'll just quickly be back once I navigate through all of these pigmen and make pathways. Hey guys, ha ha ha. I'll be back. Okay, so I was just about to show off what I did, but then a gas spawned, so I quickly ran here and started recording. Uh, I have a uh, zombie pigman. Are you allergic to water? Nope. You're not? Really? That'd be useful if you were. Uh, should I kill him? Should I? I should, get, I should get away from him and then shoot him. Okay. I was hoping you were because that would really help me. And it would make sense. But no, you have to die the hard way. There we go. So I just built bridges in the nether just to make sure that it was because otherwise I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't look at it without the bridges. Okay, hello gas, hello gas, hello gas, hello gas, hello, 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 hello. Okay, I am running. I don't, kn I, I just thought I'd show you, but. Hello gas, I don't even know where you are anymore. Kill the zombie pigmen, not me. I don't deserve death, they do. Run, run, run. Shoot randomly in the air, quickly! It's my only hope. If you... You just flew on my nether portal and I am stuck. Great. I can see you. Thank you for getting me stuck here. With no flint or steel at all. I should have brought that. Okay, I have a plan and it does involve dumping all of my stuff here. And then jumping off to see what will happen because either way, I cannot get back. So let's see if my stuff stays here if I leave it. After dying. Goodbye. You drove me to it, pigman. You drove me to it. Okay. Now, luckily I didn't bring my diamond pickaxe because I thought earlier, hey, I keep on losing my diamond pickaxe, so why don't I just store it? Quick question. Where did I put my flint and, flint and steel? Probably somewhere ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna vote on somewhere ridiculous or I died with it. Nope. Well, goodbye, Flint and Steel. It's going to make another nether portal, isn't it? Isn't it? I just know that's what's going to happen. And it's bugging me that it's off center. Okay, so at one point I decided to look back at some of my older videos because I've had this channel for a while and whenever I look back I just feel like crying because or just it's just awful because my voice back then was very high pitched like even for my age it was high pitched. And yeah, so I just feel like screaming. Don't know why I do that, but occasionally I do. And I have some May torches in my inventory. Because I did take out the torches to put in the lamps. Okay, so next goal for this episode is probably getting more sheeps. Because we only have two. So I'm going to need to get some more wheat. 
Uh, there we go. Bones. And that was smart. Okay. So, I'm still wondering why I should put in that area. Because sometimes it's hard to figure out. Because I have an area for farming, ranching, and a house. What, what could I possibly use that space for? Probably mushrooms, because some of the challenge is to like, build a giant mushroom, but I'm not sure where I'd find one. Maybe it's in the nether? That's one of the reasons why I built those bridges. But I'm not sure if there are any chests in the- chests in the nether either. So, that's my dilemma. Daily dilemma. Okay, so... Wheat, wheat, wheat... Uh, I have so many seeds. I have a couple stacks in my chest, and there's really nothing to do with them but throw them off the edge. Uh, if you've ever... And I have one world on my dad's computer of Skyblock, and it's actually pretty far. And the reason why I have it so far is because of the whole laptop breaking, I decided to play Minecraft on his computer. And I'm thinking of just... Like, bringing it over to my computer. Just because... Like... I don't know, it's annoying to have to go down to play that world. It really doesn't convince me to play that one. Oh, hey pigs, you finally grown up. I need carrots now. <laughs> Yay. More harvesting. Such action. Hopefully that grass grows soon. Uh, to the whole sheep area. It took me a while to think of the word sheep. Okay, so let's go. And I can't run. Wrong thing. Okay. Come on. Pig. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, I'm going to need to head into the cow and turn mint whatever it's called place. Okay, egg. Good. One of the challenges is to make a cake, and I know I need one egg for that. So I'll say one. I also need like two buckets of milk for that. So let's make ourselves a cake. Okay, and cake, 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 cake. Uh, I need, let me think about this. How many buckets of milk? I think I need like three. So I need like three buckets, uh, two sugar and three wheat. Okay, okay, I haven't made a cake in a while, but let's see if I can remember the recipe exact, and if I can't, then I'm probably wasting a bucket, but let's do this forward. What would it be like to be a farm animal? I mean, they're kind of stuck here forever. Do they mind? Maybe. I need seeds, but I'm too lazy to go back over there. Oh, I, I should probably grab this because it's always good to have a traveling crafting table. You know, just on the go crafting. You two cows have a child. I'm like the almighty cow matchmaker. More cows, that's good. More leather. You too? More sheeps. Okay, so. Forward. 
to make it. I forgot the milk. This is like fair. Most of my health bar just goes down because I am bad at remembering what I need. And then I leave the area by the time I need it. Okay, let's see if I can make a cake. First, let's go to bed so that the monsters don't spawn and try to murder. Okay, so... It looks so solitary over here. Now... Uh, let me th yeah, three wheat. I forgot the sugar. As I said, I forget easily. I'm... Hopefully I don't mess up the recipe, and I believe it goes like this. I don't make cakes often, mostly because they're more trouble than they're worth, but as I said, it's a challenge. I believe so. I believe it is? Yeah, it is. Because I just looked over the list before this episode, and I was just trying to think of one. Don't want to put it on top of here, just because that would block my crafting. What if I put it... Perfect. It's beautiful. And I won't eat any of it because that would be wasting it. Uh, we should really start to smelt this. 35. It'd be more useful if the zombie pigment dropped iron. 8, 16... 24, 32. Let's just keep that there for now, and there we go. Uh, one piece of coal or charcoal burns eight things. Now only 32, we only need 32. So, so far we're at the 15 minute mark. Okay, and... Oh yeah, earlier this week I really wanted to like upload and record a video, but then I had to do an assignment that actually included editing, which I didn't think would ever happen. Because we had to make a thing about telescopes for silence, for science, not silence, not the silence. Ah. If you don't know what the silence is, then you haven't, you clearly have not watched Doctor Who. I hear a skeleton. Is it over here? I just see your skeleton and it's bugging me intensely. I might just be going insane though. And the thing is, no one can prove whether or not I hear the skeleton because I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear the video depending on how lo loud it is. Okay, let's get this dirt because the only reason it was here was to spread over. Break this pathway. I may have lost one dirt though. On the whole getting thing. We can finally fill this in. There we go. Forward. Maybe the skeleton is trapped in one of those corner things. I can just hear it and... Okay, I thought I was going to lose some health there, but thank you, squids, for saving me. So yeah, there's a skeleton somewhere here. Probably in one of these corner bits I don't bother filling in. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was gonna head into my house.
One of the reason one of the other reasons why I like maps like this is because they kind of just provide like, I don't like exploring in Minecraft that much. I like to make a castle or something and just stay there and not really explore anywhere because I don't like traveling in Minecraft. How many hits would it take if I were to hit you with my hand? How many hits? Like, this guy. It would, it would still only take, like, a few hits. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Zombie baby, zombie baby, zombie baby, zombie babies! I know that they're not called that, but they still freak me out. Seriously, that, that scared me. Imagine if you guys were all even filtering into like one spot. That would be insane. But then there'd also be log trap spiders. XP. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I just like killing them. I might want to head up there and get that cactus, just because it's probably an achievement or something to make a cactus farm. I know that there's a bunch of achievements to, like, get wool and stuff. So let's get out the good old cobblestone. Uh, and one pickaxe should be more than enough to get this. And let's go. I keep on hearing mob noises, might just be my imagination, or it might just be, as I said before, corner pieces I don't bother filling in, just spawning stuff. Not exactly the most pleasant thought either way, but maybe I'm being haunted, who knows. So, forward, and up, it should be right about here that I have to go up. Look up, and yeah, that's where I have to go. I should have brought the water again. Actually, wait, even then I have to scaffold up like this. And as I said earlier, yay, I remember this. So I can make a shovel to get the clay on the way back down. Because as, as said earlier, just can't do that otherwise. I just have to use the, I just have to use the right material sometimes. Well, not the right material, just the right thing to break it. Because it would take too long otherwise. I just hate it when people in Minecraft aren't efficient when they play. Like, my dad, he plays Minecraft, and he'll go into a dungeon and just kill them. He'll keep the mob spawner there, and he'll just do that instead of making a machine out of it and he knows that it bugs me but it doesn't bug him and I just find it annoying sometimes it's, it might be a weird thing to get annoyed about it just bugs me a lot when people don't make things a hundred percent efficient and that's why I like the Tekken mod pack because then I can not even have things mi mine for me I at least got one. Okay, there we go. And let's take our way back down. Now, all of the pillars are broken. Now, I thought... Oh, I can actually see the top of that from here. Weird. Now, all of the pillar things that are visible from the upper level are now gone. It looks so cool from up here, though. Because this is a viewpoint you don't normally get. Odd. This is a lot of breaking. Like, a lot. So, I think I'm going to end off the episode here because we're like four minutes over and I've just realized that.
But see you next episode. Have a great day and bye.